Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. All right, TNT, have Yo. you heard of On the Trail of the Golden Owl? It's just like a video game thing? It's a it's book. Just, it's a book? Yeah. Jonas, you know I don't read. <laughs> I know you can't read. Listen, I, can't, I went to college. <laughs> so. <laughs> I have a degree. <laughs> uh, so Equivalent. It was a book of riddles yeah. published in 1993. It contained 11 clues and a hidden 12th clue leading to a treasure, leading treasure hunters in searching for a sought after prize. So essentially what? it took 31 years um, and the hunt has finally come to an end. What? So it contained 11 difficult puzzles and the 12th one was hidden. And then you had to find uh, an exact location of an it's of an owl token, and then it, you get an owl statue that is made of gold, silver, and diamond is worth about one hundred twenty five thousand dollars. Okay, okay. So um, it said this week the hunt came to an end. Um, it basically they confirmed the golden owl countermark was unearthed last night, and uh, it is it is useless to go digging anymore. So the built the book builds up a cult like following with a community of more than two hundred thousand players known as owlers. They were, it's from France and abroad. This happened in France. Okay. It's, I was going to say, it's ain't no American stuff. Yeah. And then uh, it said, uh, they previously said he oversaw and financed the creation of the prize, an owl made of three kilograms of gold, seven kilograms of silver, and diamond chips on the face. So uh, the person who created it uh, created the riddles and used a different pen name so people wouldn't find him trying to get clues about um, – any of the stuff, right? Yeah. So he unfortunately died in 2009, but so he never got to see the the, the, the people find yeah. it. Yeah. But some other people uh, had it. Uh, the guy who found it was a 30 year old man. He said he has spent all of his weekends over the past two years searching for the owl, the owl, and at times he found himself digging at the night, digging through the night. Um. So yeah. So I mean, it finally was found. <laughs> 30 effing years dude 30 years and it's only a hundred thousand dollars too but i mean you know to the guy who found it that's crazy you know yeah i mean i don't know dude like i have seen somebody was just telling me about a book like that and it, maybe this is what they were talking about uh and it's like it literally was just like a picture mm. and the picture was the riddle like so it wasn't even like you know like Walking down the street with three, you're gonna find a one for me. You know, some sort of like <laughs> clever word play, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was literally like a picture. Yeah. And you had to use the picture to help figure out what they were talking about, what the riddle was. And it said you couldn't just use a metal detector to find it. You had to you had to tell them the the salt how you solved every riddle and uh and then come back with the token that you found too that was, you know, because they didn't want they weren't gonna bury the I'm wondering if there's a picture of it online, Jones. What, what was it called? It the was French, called the uh, French Owl Statue. Uh, Trail of the Golden Owl. Ooh, Trail of the Golden Owl. Mood yeah, Dang so we're gonna try to look on the YouTube channel to see if Trail if we can see what it looks like. I don't know if they even have a picture of it yet because this was in. I mean, this just happened, so I don't even know if they. Uh, if even they they've done it yet. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, it is there. Okay. You can't, you can't do that, though. Yeah, yeah so, it yeah. It's, it's not as impressive as I thought. Yeah, no, it's not. But it's, I mean, I'll take $125,000. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It's, an it's, it's an owl ugly, statue. To be honest. It's kind of ugly. Wow. I mean, do you think yeah. that's pretty? Would you put that on your mantle? I mean, if I it definitely. If worth $125,000, would you put it on your mantle? I'll definitely melt that B word down. Quick, fast, I would just take somebody. I would just take it to someone who's gonna melt it down. That would be good too. Yeah, man. Do I don't that. know. I uh, I like puzzles, but I'm not going out into like the world puzzles. hunting through the woods to find a token. No, I'm not a big fan with ARGs, man. I don't want to try to figure it out. I just, as we did. We've done escape rooms though. I do like escape rooms. Yeah, I do like them to an extent. I I don't know if I would. Uh, if it were life or death, I'm just probably going to die because I, I can't figure out whatever you want. But in a group, you know, which they usually do, they give you a group, you know, either a group you go with. It's all right. Anymore, when we did the one back in the day, did they put us with strangers? Was you Were you with yes. me when they put – okay. Nowadays, you rent them and, like, you can do them with, like, four – four to eight people 
so like you just pay to go rather than putting you with strangers because like back then they were fairly new that was a long time ago yeah um i could see because that was that's what most people hated about was it. that it's the like, one that we did where the people we went with were drunk or were this was or was that the breaking bad one we went the one the breaking bad one was the one that we did with your ex-wife and we and did like, with, but there was other people in there with us yeah there was like some asian people in there with us and then they had that lady who'd knock on the door and be like hey y'all come on in and remember she was like we could yeah. talk to her and ask her questions no and then we, we did, did another one downtown, didn't we? Did you? Did, did you? Did we do both of them? Were the other ones? We got the people were just drunk, and like we were in a room, Ooh, and you opened yeah. up a door in, in the closet, and you had to, and then you went into another room, and you were trying to solve the bomb, but the bomb was like a piece of plastic with wires in it. It was super jank. No. Okay. Maybe. When, maybe. Well, that one I did. The people that showed up, they showed up late, and they were drunk. Like they were tourists and like, we're trying to do this, this escape room. And they're just like, oh, <laughs> I'm just like, this is insane. Yeah, this one to have a good time. <laughs> yeah. It was a real good time. They're just, <laughs> getting in, they're just getting in the way and like so, yeah. talking loud. And so if you've never done an escape room, the biggest thing is that a lot of people bring a group of friends with them and they don't want to interact with the other people there. And I don't blame you. Um, because you know you want to work with your friends you yeah don't work with a stranger i don't want to have to like get a relationship with you and try to figure it turns the whole thing into like survivors yeah shit, i mean the, the puzzles are hard enough let alone like like yeah i did one uh not I've all done at least three of them i know yeah i, I've actually, done one, I did a couple one a couple years ago and like uh it, it's really hard to get everyone on the same page because yeah, everyone's just like yeah. running around and doing random stuff. Yeah, and, man. and they're like screaming out like, I found a key! And like, you're like trying to solve a puzzle and like, and they're just like sm smoking crack in the corner. Yeah. I mean, that's to be expected, man. Everybody's got their egos. Everybody wants to help. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's definitely an experience. That's I find that it's best to just let people do what they want to do, and then, you know, you just, like, stand there and watch them work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I'll, like, I'll mess around with stuff, but I ain't I ain't telling anybody what to do in an escape room. Like, no. y'all are good. Like, no. And if somebody tries to tell me what to do, I'll be like, uh-huh, sure. I'm going to just do what I want. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. Real team player, Jonas. I am. You're a not. real team player. You got it, man. Uh, my way is the best way. So if you aren't doing it my way, then you're a loser. So Absolutely. If you just listen to me, we'd win. Uh, truer words never spoken. If there was this one part, you had to like go in and close the door, and somebody had to hold the door closed, and like you were in this little cabinet, and then the black light came on. You had to like read off. It was it was weird. I did one where you had to uh, you had to like do like a you had to go down a chute. It was almost like a little slide, and we went down. We went to a washing machine. We had to go down a little slide. And then was this the one with the books said night where the books the where you had to take the books out of the wall and read a date. Do you remember that? I wasn't ready for that one. No, that might have been a different one. I've gone to a, a couple of them, man. I've been Austin, to at least three. Austin has a ton of them yeah. now. Yeah, 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 yeah. And some of them are really nice. I think I took a chick to one. Probably. Maybe. That sounds like something I would do. No, yeah, that's a that's a fun date. Like, because you realize if she, if like she's compatible with you, I was gonna say something else. Uh, <laughs> Funny, I, I remember going there with the chick, but I don't remember the sex afterwards. Hmm. <laughs> maybe you didn't get Try laid. Trying to recall that portion of the uh, equation, not she not was really. So impressed by you taking her to an escape room, Does she that... couldn't wait for you to have sex. With I her. need to know if escape rooms make chicks wet. Does that work? Does that does that Cause... do anything? I wouldn't think so. No, it's no. not. It's not get their doing... brain all active, get mad at you because you ain't listening to them. Like, um, but I listen. They they're like this. Either either like this guy's not leading. This guy's leading too much, or this guy's stupid. No. That's all you get. No. You, you don't get. You don't. They're like, oh my god. There's no win. You just solved all the pro all the problems. You so smart. You so sexy. Ooh, let me. That's so true. You would have to done it before. If I do the escape room before. <gasps> oh, oh my god! You, you do it. You already know the answer and you take her there and you look like a genius oh my god <laughs> you take every date on this to the same escape the, the the employees are like this is doing the same bringing different girls to the same escape. okay so is that level of social engineering is that disgusting or is it like yo you you unlocked I mean, if the you're key. doing it to try to get laid it's kind of creepy and cruddy dude it is kind <laughs> of creepy and cruddy Ow. you're just trying to like i mean i guess it's no different than lying about your job it's not, you're not lying about your job. You're just <laughs> omitting the fact that you know all the answers to the <laughs> equation. It's like you're watching the football game that you, that you taped last week, and you're like, I bet you 10 bucks they get a touchdown right <laughs> here. <laughs>
How many? I wonder how many times you would have to do that before you make a chick think you're clairvoyant. She's just like, he can read the future. Well, you couldn't just go in and be like, we do this. And then you would have to be like, man, I know it has to do something with this computer. And you're like, oh, let yeah. me. Like, but if you hold your, your fingers to your temple <laughs> like your child, like your process, Professor Xavier. I don't know why I couldn't get the word professor out of my mouth. But you, you, just you, just walk. Get, you get on your knees and go, hmm. Like, hmm. And, just, and then you're just like, you know what? I think yeah. we got to go right here. Yeah, I think I'm feeling something in this direction right over here. Yes, this is the answer. Here's the key. They would probably think you're insane. <laughs> Anyways. But would you get laid, though? I don't know. Probably not. I'd say no. Right. I'd say no, man. Don't take girls to escape rooms. Don't tr <laughs> don't trick women. Don't trick women, too. Yeah, that one's <laughs> don't too. trick Yeah, em. don't trick anybody. You don't want to trick them. Yeah, all right. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Joe Nana. <laughs> okay.